Hello guys, I am back and welcome back to my channel. You have no idea how many times I have recorded this intro. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm rusty or why would I get nervous? It's not like I'm standing in front of a whole bunch of people in my underpants, right? Take a deep breath and let's do this. <laughs> I know before I used to show diamond paintings. Um, I kind of got out of the diamond paintings and started cross stitching. So this is going to be my first floss tube. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing stuff I have finished, stuff I'm working on, and also uh, just my stash on what I have and, you know, all that fun stuff. So um, sit back, enjoy yourself stitch do whatever you want to do and i hope you enjoy this video because i'm hoping this is going to be a long one <laughs> all right my first thing that i had finished was this it's a little seahorse bookmark words i swear words are hard come on guys it's my back i think i did pretty good you know, for my first time, you know, um, I didn't fully finish it. You know, I should have put like some interfacing, maybe some fabric, but I just haven't done that. So, um, like I said, I got that one off Amazon and this is what, let me, it was a kit. So I figured I'd start small because if I didn't like cross stitching, then I would, you know, it was just a small project. All right, the next project that I did was this little guy. Isn't he cute? I actually, um, this fabric is a 14 count Ada. It was iridescent. I got it at a uh, Hobby Lobby. I dyed it myself. I used like some blues and purples for uh, the um, Rit dye or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I got this one out of a uh, Just Cross Stitch magazine. I framed it myself. It is not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what you like, right? But I framed it myself. This is actually a, um, a frame from Dollar Tree. You know, it was eight by 10 frame and yeah, it hangs on my wall. I love it. It works. My next project I worked on, this one I was working on when I was going in for surgery. Um, this one is from Tiny Modernist. It's called Give Thanks. It's a free pattern. Um, I did change it um, since it was Pride Month in June. Um, I changed his uh, feathers to rainbow colors. Isn't that really cool? And then I did uh, like his little, you know, little triangles and the different colors in the back. So and it says love is love. And I did the finish on this myself. Um, this little pin I got from uh, a friend and uh, this fabric I got from Walmart. It was um, one of the like where the single fat quarters um, that they sell at Walmart. But yeah, I finished it myself. I put polyfill in it. You know, I just, you know, just wanted it soft and I keep it in my room also in the, you know, on my shelf. I love it. Um, another thing I finished and get myself together here is this one now I changed the colors on this I made this more of like a patriotic um but this pattern is also a free pattern it's called home stitch home and it's on tiny modernness I hope I'm saying that right I'm not good with words guys but uh this is a five by seven frame also got it at Dollar Tree it's iridescent isn't that freaking awesome mm -hmm. yeah this hangs on my wall too and this is one of my kind of recent done fit done. Um, I got this off Etsy, the pattern, uh, not the wording or the numbers, but I did get this little pattern. It came in a, a set of five and, um, yeah, I, uh, dedicated it to my new cat that I got right before Christmas. His name is Jerry. He's such a sweetie. And, uh, yeah, I just put the year that I, Got Jerry and he hangs on my wall too. Another one that I finished um, was this one. 
This is a big one. Um, I made this for me and my husband's 10 year wedding anniversary. I put um, our name and obviously the year that we got married. Um, I changed the colors on this. I will be showing this pattern in my stash, um, but I did change the colors. Um, I did like a light blue. Um, I did a little bit of like a silver um, silk floss and uh, some red silk floss here. And then obviously some a light green. But the original pattern is like all white. Like it's all white. And I think they did it like on like a, you know, like a light tan color fabric. But this is on, made on uh, this is also iridescent. Just like the owl one, it's uh, the iridescent Ada, 14 count. I get it from Hobby Lobby. I love it. But I did that for my anniversary. All right. Um... Sorry, I gotta reach down here and get my stuff. Gotta excuse me. All right, this pattern, this one I have not finished. Um, I don't know. I was doing it around Halloween. I just didn't finish it yet. Um, this is Halloween Quaker. Let's see if I can get it all in here. This, I'm, I'm just gonna pan up so you guys won't see my face. But this is Halloween Quaker by Leela Lila Studios. I think I said that right. Um, I did not do all the uh, um, called for colors. Um, like the moon. I don't know if you can see that. But by the witch where the moon is. I did glow in the dark uh, floss. Um, some of these. Uh, I did like. You know like variegated floss. Um, even like these. Like the little pumpkins. I did variegated. and um, I just kind of used what I had. You know. Um, this, I did a variegated floss. I got these off Etsy. Um, I can't think of the company right now, but that's where I got them. It was off Etsy. You know, if you have any questions, just ask and I can look it up. I, I keep the cards so in case I need to order some more. So, but yeah. Oh, and this is, I think this is 18 count Ada and I dyed this myself. I dyed it, uh, purple and blue, just like the, um, owl. I kind of like that, you know, like the modeling, kind of. Yeah, so. I like it. It works for me. It's my project. <laughs> I have not finished it. I mean, I will I will pick it up eventually. You know, I just, I've got other things going on right now with projects and things that, uh, you know. And I got this project bag off Etsy. I mean, you can find them. Find them on Etsy. Um, another one that I started and have not finished. This is a bag actually my husband made for me. It's got a, kind of cute. I love it. Oh, I got a string on there. Look at that. All right. <laughs> I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. All right. This, I dyed fabric. This is 18 count Ada. And... This is the start of this one. And I will be showing this pattern too. I have it over here in my pile. Uh, when I come to it, I will show you. But it's a uh, little house something, I think. Hold on. I'll show you. Let me just put this in my lap so I can show you. Uh, move my stuff around here. I'm so organized. Isn't that crazy what you do for floss tube? You sit there and you're like, oh, you know, I want to do a video and I got to get all this stuff and get all organized. And <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my life for you. Where is it at? I know it's right here somewhere. Oh. Well, I swear. How have you guys been? Are you guys doing anything for Valentine's Day? I'm not. Oh, here it is. This one. This is for that pattern. For this pattern is for that project. It is um, Little House Needleworks. Yeah. I started this and I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, I guess. But I'm thinking, like, if I do come back to it, to be honest, I think what I'm going to do is just do this top part. 
like where the house is, maybe, you know, the initial, and maybe like somewhere in here, maybe put like you know, my family's initials, you know, like my husband, mine, my boys, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, you know, all right, that is it for FFOs and kind of stuff I've started on. All right, the stuff I am working on right now. Um, I am doing a thing. I know a lot of people do whip go, which is like bingo. I do whip roll. My husband is a DD and d player, so he has like dice that is like, you know, it can go up to high numbers if you know what D&D &D is. And uh, I have an eight point dice. So I pick eight projects and whatever number I roll, I do that project for the week. So like if I roll a seven, I do that project for a week. And then come Sunday, I roll again, do whatever project number I got. If I roll the same number, well, then I just do that project two weeks in a row. All right. Um, all right. Let me just drop a pen. I'm sorry. You could tell I am rusty as all get out. All right. And if you are a floss tuber or, cro you know, cross stitch, not crochet, you know what this is. I love this book. This is my first year of doing this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I write what I'm doing every day. But in mine, obviously I put all the stickers in there. But this is what I mean by the whip roll. Like I do my goals, you know, and then, um, you know, like for, let me turn this here. Like for me, I... This was my goals for 2022. These are the things that I want to do to get done. You know, these are the finishes I want to get done, you know. Um, and then I have down here where I have um, my whip roll. Like I have one, two, three, four. And then I have the name of the pattern beside it. Now, if I finish a pattern, like let's say it's a small pattern, I will, the next month, if I finish it within that, like let's say January, I finish a project. Then I would just put another pattern in there that I have lined up, kitted up, and ready to go. So that's what I'm doing. Because um, I don't have really a big stash, but that's how I'm doing it. Alright. So what projects am I working on? These are my whips as of right now. Alright. This is Lizzie Kate's. Love my cat. I got this because of Jerry. I love my Jerry. He's my baby. And I wanted to do this for him. So, let me get out my cat. What I done, I actually worked two weeks on this in January because I had rolled the same number for this one. So, here's my progress. Isn't it cute? And no, I did not iron anything. Who's got time for that? You got to get yourself together, and then who has time to iron? <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm doing this on um, 32 count um, silver moon, I think is what it's called, um, and uh, I'm doing uh, two threads over two. So, be cute. I can't wait to get that one done. But that's one of my smalls. So like, if I get this done, then I can add something else in there that I have on my list. So, I also have in this thing, obviously my threads. See how crazy madness that is? Anyways, but I have this pattern right here. Obviously, I'm probably going to like change this up because I'm one of these people. Okay, I know you should, you know, do like the call for colors, but I change things around. I do. I, I just, that's what I do. But this, I'll probably make one of these cats look like my cat. You know, like one of them do black, do the other one like the tabby or, you know. But I need to get the uh, flosses for this one. So, it's got like Krynik and, yeah. Yeah. But I had that in there because, I mean, I ordered these two. This uh, Lizzie Kate one and this one at the same time. Alright. Let me get this back in there. Alright. 
one of these days I will get my life together. <laughs> All right, another one I am working on is this one. Mother's Garden. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. I am actually changing the colors. Um, yeah, instead of pinks, I'm doing purples on the flowers. So, and I don't have much progress on this one. So don't shoot me, okay? But I've kind of got like the border started. You no, know, I was thinking about doing the whole border first, you know, and then like, yeah, you know, work on the middle. But I may change my mind. You never know. I haven't rolled that one yet on my dice. So, and this one is done on 18 count Ada. All right. The next one that I have been working on for a while is this one. Lindy Stitches Birds to the Bow. I love this one. So colorful. And I've changed colors in this one too. Um, not too dramatic, but I have changed some of the colors, so. Alright, I am doing this one on 32 count light top. Is what it's called? Make sure I got it the right way. I don't want to show it to you upside down. I mean, that would be blasphemy, right? Alright, here we go. Yep, I am almost done with this one. Isn't it nice? I love it. I love all the colors. And one of the things I did change um, is see this the little flamingo. Um, I changed them to like a variegated um, floss. So, okay. But I love this one. I am been working and working and working on this one. So, I love it. I love Lindy Stitches. Well, Stephanie. I love her designs. So, all right. Next one that I am working on that is on my whip roll is this one. My little needle minders. I got those from Etsy. If you ever have any questions like where I got them from, just, just ask. Um, but yes, I am doing this one. I'm doing this for my husband, actually. He, um, Marine, once a Marine, always a Marine. And when he served, he served a year in Okinawa, Japan. So I am dedicating this to my husband. On this one, I am doing 18 count Ada. And I am doing it with uh, 115 variegated red. This, let me try to get in here. But the variegated red is what I'm doing. Um, 115 and then obviously 310 for the black. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And I do, when I do, um, just holding this thing upside down, ain't I? But, uh, when I do, um, cross stitching, I do the loop method and I've read that you can't do variegated on the loop method, but I, I mean, it looks pretty variegated. You know, I don't, I haven't had anything that's blended or maybe it's just the way I'm doing it. I don't know. But yeah, I'm dedicating that to my husband because he's awesome. <laughs> And this, I actually rolled. This is, uh, get it out of my project bag. This one I will be starting, I know today's Saturday, but I kind of roll for, you know, so I can get it set up for tomorrow, but I start it tomorrow. This one is another uh, pattern by Stephanie on Lindy Stitches. Yep. And to all a good night. So I am starting this and this one I am doing the uh, call for threads, except I am doing mine on this 32 count uh, mint splash. So I kind of want it like the blue, um, like wintry sky. So yeah, that's what I'm doing it on, but I am doing it for the call for colors, you know, dropping stuff. But, uh, yeah, DMCs and, uh, Weak Style Works. So, I'm going to start that tomorrow. I'm excited. 
I'm excited. I love my projects. I love doing them. I love doing them. All right. And the next, or this, this one I was working on this past week because I rolled it. So I started it. Um, I am doing, in this book, I am doing this one. It's called a uh, In Full Glory. Yep. All right. And this is, hold on. I'm trying to make sure nothing falls off my lap. This is how far I've gotten. I wanted, to, I kind of start, when I started, I started on the border. And, uh, yeah, I decided to uh, start the house. Because I want to get the house done because that's like the biggest part on this project. So, um, I dyed this fabric myself. Um, Rit dye gray is like a gray, gray color. But, uh, it is on 18 count. But I'm going to make this one into a pillow. I've got some, um, patriotic fab fabric. I can't even talk. Patriotic fabric that I'm going to, um, yeah. When I get it done, I'm going to make it into a pillow. And I'm thinking I'm going to dedicate that one to my dad because he was in the army way back in the day. So I think I'm going to put my dad's initials and maybe my husband's initials kind of make it like a, you know. And this bag right here, I made this bag. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I think it's a Pioneer Woman fabric. The new one that came out at Walmart. And this... The inside, I've had that one for a while. So I got it on clearance a few years back or something like that. So, yeah, there's the lining. I think I did pretty good for my first one, you know, making my own bag. All right, that is all on my, what I'm working on. And now I'm going to show you my stash, what I've got in my stash, which is not a lot, to be honest. Um... I've been getting uh, the subscription to the um, uh, Just Cross Stitch magazine. So I have all the, or like from June 2021. So that was my first issue. And I've gotten all the way up to, um, obviously the newest one, the spring one, this one right here. I don't know what I think about this magazine. I mean, it's got cute patterns in it. But, I don't know if it's my favorite yet, but what do I know? I don't, I don't get a lot of magazines, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, it's cute for what it is. Um, these right here, this one, which I'm sure everybody and their, and their son got this one. You know, the Halloween one edition for Just Cross Stitch. And then this one right here, I got these at uh, Joann's so I'm pretty I think I got this one in the mail yeah I did I got this one in the mail this one I got at Joann's and this one I got at Joann's I had to get this one my husband loves dragons so I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. Maybe someday I will do it. Hmm. Someday I might not. All right. Next. Let me get this stuff moved. Obviously, you've seen this pattern. Got that one. Uh, I'm just going to put this stuff down here. Sorry. Sorry if I keep popping in and out and popping in. <laughs> All right. This one I got um, off uh, Etsy called uh, Ocean Life. I have not done this one yet. It is a big one. It's kind of, it's, it's longer than it is wide. So, but I have not done it yet. Plus it has, uh, it came with beads. So I haven't, I haven't dabbled in the beads yet. So like I've never done a mill hill or anything like that. So, but yeah, I kind of like this. Uh, the person that did this, um, Kimberly Smith, I knocked myself out. But <laughs> Kimberly Smith uh, 
on Etsy. I got this where I got it from a while back. And it's also, it's got the color pattern and it's also got the black and white one. So if you don't like color patterns, you can do the uh, black and white one. All right, this is the one that I was talking about that I got, or got. I cannot talk today, guys. But this is the one that I made um, for me and my husband for our 10-year anniversary last year. So, but like I said, it's got mainly white. It's got green and a little bit of red, but it's like mainly white. And I, the things I didn't do, um, I didn't do some of the border and I didn't do, obviously do this border. So, but, um, you probably can't see that. It's, uh, it's called Love Birds Wedding Sampler and a Historical Sampler Company Limited is what it's called. The company that I guess that from England, but I think I got this one off Etsy. I ordered it off Etsy. This, I've not done anything out of this one either. Um, uh, got this off Amazon. I love this book. If you had this book, if you had this book, it's so soft. So soft. I mean, it's like, I've never, it's luxury, right? All right, these, I'm gonna see if I can grab the other one. Nope, I'm just gonna wait. You guys are all gonna have to wait. I got this one, All Hallows Eve Sampler. And this one is by Joan Elliott Designs. Isn't that awesome? I kind of started this one, but I, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what it is. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love this pattern. But I think I just need to do it like in sections, maybe, you know, like, you know, do this section and do something with it, you know, make it into a pillow or whatever. But I just, I, me personally, I can't do one color. I mean, I jump all over the place. I jump all over the place. So I just can't. Yeah. All right. The next one that I have not started is Holiday Quaker by Leela Studio. Now this one, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing. I think what I'm gonna do when I do do it is I'm gonna do little ornaments. You know, like these little motives right here, like this, like the birds, you know, and this one says, uh, peace on earth. Um, we got the little snowman. Um, you know, all this little stuff. I'm probably going to make this, you know, like in the, just little ornaments, like the, like these. Do like little ornaments from a tree. And then this magazine, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's got a lot of cute Christmas patterns in it. Hopefully you guys can, hopefully I'm not going too fast. If I'm going too fast, let me know. I try not to go too fast, but like, I don't know if it's because I just get nervous or, yeah, so I feel like I'm going too fast sometimes. <laughs> All right, this I found at a thrift store. I do not know when I'll ever do this, but it is a tree skirt. It is fully kitted with the Ada and yeah, it looks like it's 14 count Ada. It's got all the threads. I got lucky. I hardly ever find anything at a thrift store. Like, it's like, I don't know if it's my area, but, like, I have a hard time finding, like, you know, cross-stitch stuff at thrift stores. But, yeah, I found that. That was a good find. All right, here's the other one I was talking about. That I got the Christmas Eve sampler. Look at all that black work. I love these. They're so pretty, aren't they? I mean, it's just like little silhouettes, you know, they're dancing around the tree and I love them, but I might have to do them in sections, you know. Yep. And this is obviously by uh, Joe and Elliot Designs. Um, and then obviously you've seen this one, Halloween Quaker. 
I started that one already. I don't know why I have it in my... I need to get back to it. All right. This one is a free pattern I got from signing up for uh, Lindy Stitches um, Stephanie's um, newsletter. But isn't that freaking cool? It's called Sugar Plum Dreams, I think. Yep. Sugar Plum Dreams. Isn't that so cute? My little, little kitties. You know, when I was a little girl, I always wanted a pony. Always, my mom was like, you're going to save up your pennies to buy you a pony. <laughs> I don't have a pony. I still don't have a pony. I didn't get a pony. But, yeah. That would be me as a child. Tying my pony to the Christmas tree and hoping that... <laughs> You know, that's me as a child. All right, this is another pattern I got. This is the Prairie Schooler Alphabet. And I did do a couple of these, but I was another FFOs, but they're packed away with my Christmas stuff. And I'm sorry, guys, I am not dragging that out. But I did, you know, my initials for S and M and for my husband and B and O for my boys. So, yep. I love it. But yeah, I made like little, like this, like little, like little pillow ornaments and I put little um, ribbon and what not. Like I said, I don't have a really big stash, so. All right, this one. Shooting Stars. I actually ordered this pattern off Etsy. I don't remember what the shop was called, but they had um, uh, Carol Manning's designs on there. Or Carolyn Manning, sorry. I go with names. But, uh, yeah, they... Uh, oh. Pretty cool. I have not started that one yet. And I also have another one of hers. This one I actually got off her website. As Christmas class. It's pretty. One of these days I'll start one of those. I was actually thinking about doing it for my birthday start, but I didn't. You know what? I just realized I forgot a one I was doing. Start. I'm not getting it. <laughs> I will show you in the next video. Oh, you guys, you're like, woman, you are crazy. Somebody's got to be. All right. And these are little things that I got from Lindy Stitches. Stephanie. I don't know why, but when I say Lindy Stitches, I almost keep thinking I'm going to say Michelle. I don't know why. Because I'm weird, I guess. And I got this one and this one. Oh, those cute little postcards. My camera just yelled at me and saying something I reached my capacity. I hope I'm still recording. It looks like I'm still recording. I guess my camera can't take on the pressure of longer videos. All right, this pro, this project, this one I got from Hobby Lobby. One of these days I will do it. It is a full kit by Artiste. I love that one. I love all the little stuff in there with the Merry Christmas snowmen and little birds and Santa Claus. Look at him, he's up there sitting on the sea. But yeah, I will do that one eventually. When? I don't know. And this book. I got this also at Hobby Lobby. It's got a lot of little patterns in it. Animals and whatnots. I'd show you some of them, but I don't want to show you the patterns. That's against the rules. Sorry. But yeah. There it is. And 
I think we are done. We are done. I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope to see you again. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to be doing a video. Um, I'm going to try to at least maybe do once a month. So it gives me time to, you know, show my progress. Um, yeah. Um, I got a lot going on. Um, my youngest son, I'm slowly getting him back into school. He was doing homeschooling. Um, I was having issues with him. Um, we were doing homeschooling. So, and now he's, uh, this past Friday, he started, uh, at least going for like a couple hours in the morning. We're kind of slowly getting him back into school. Um, yeah, he's a mama's baby and yeah, he just wants to stay home with me. <laughs> But he can't. He has to go to school. Um, other than that, um, not much has been going on. Um, like I said, I had my surgery. I'm sorry I didn't come back. I just, um, to be honest, I've had a lot of things going on. Um, just trying to get my head in straight. And, um, oh. It's life for you. <laughs> 2020, I think, messed up a lot of people. To be honest and try to get back you know the swing of things it's it's taking a toll on some people so be kind when you can you know I try to be kind to people so no be kind when you can be and when you're out there shopping be nice to people I mean people there's so many so many things, you know, people not working and being short staffed and yeah, just be kind. You know, I try to be, you know, I used to work in retail way back in the day and it can be stressful and I can only imagine how stressful it is right now. So, but I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys hopefully in a month. Um, yeah. <laughs>